So, so we're, we're that, already we're already the recording has begun. That's rolling. That's rolling. Okay, what are we making? Um, I think I'll just make a Voronoi scatter version of um, scratches. Voronoi scratches. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the Voronoi scattering method is literally just where you're, if I'm understanding this right, you're making cells which are semi-randomized, so you can distribute the same-ish type of content in each cell, but you can kind of change their scale and location and rotation, so you're getting like a randomization. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yes, exactly. You know, I don't so, know how we're going to prevent this, like, like I feel like uh, when a cell gets cut off, it will like cut off the pattern, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm... Uh, I'm going to like blend stuff, like, you know, using another Voronoi with oh, distance Okay, so you gotta use multiple. Yeah, just do a Voronoi, it's fine. It's still yeah, This is why I use right? geometry nodes, you can just scatter and not worry about it. In, yeah. in a video by Jonathan Lampel on the CG Cookie channel, doing a similar technique, he showed how you can like properly blur the edges of the Voronoi cells. Now I can't remember how to do it off the top of my head, but I know it's possible. So that really does oh, help yeah. with like the whole blending technique. Would you know how I'll to do show that? I'll you how to do that. Yeah, okay, it's nice. very simple. So let's just do it real quick. All I have to do is make this thousand or like very high scale noise. Or else I could simply use a white noise texture, you know? Because it's like... Ah, oh, I've never used noise. white noise to blur. No, neither have I. That's something right there. I'm learning. I'm watching this yeah, tutorial. I'm, I'm not even part of it. And you could basically use like a value node and just use like, what, what is it called? Color linear light, I think. Damn, dude, you are noding fast. He's like, I, uh, he's Sonic this. over here. Yeah, I feel like I'm watching 1.5 speed or something. Look at that, there's a blur. Oh, wow, that does work. <laughs> Yeah, it does work. I'm impressed yeah. as if, like, I doubted you for a moment. I never <laughs> yeah, there's zero blur, and slowly you can increase, and there's a blur. But does that blur all of it, or is that just the edges? It's just, it, I think it blurs all of it. Okay. But, you know? Right. Oh, you know sudden. what you could do? You can uh, use distance to edge and multiply it with the blurring. Do you know what I mean? That way it only blurs at the edges. Oh, yeah, you mean, like, I can mask it out? Exactly. Because that's yeah, kind of a look wrong. at that. I've contributed. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's <laughs> nice. So let's not blur stuff and let's try to make you know just yeah. uh, blur noise. So scratches. Yeah, scratches. So now I have like cells where I can basically use a noise texture. I'm not white noise. I'm sorry. It's just this. Now you have the seams as well. Can you see the seams here? Yeah. Yes. Um, so there's a really nice way to like uh, remove the seams. I'm gonna show you. But for now, let's just uh, scale this down and use some fancy mathematics to get something going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'll absolute it and separate them into X, Y, Z. So now you have like you know squiggly lines. Mm -hmm. Yes. I could basically. Like you could see that uh, it's all it's very uh, how can I say this? It's very uniform, I think, because you know the yeah you gotta rotate really... those boys. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. For that, I have a random color, so you know I could use a separate X Y Z node, or because it's color, let's use a separate R G B node because it it makes more sense anyway. And I could use a vector rotate node and just plug this right into the angle. And you could see, you, you won't see much happening. That's because it's in degrees, and we're out inputting in, um, I think, radians. So, what I could do is I could use a math node, convert this into degrees. Now you can see it's right. rotated properly. Look at that. But then the values are like between zero and one, and the degrees, I would say it's from minus pi to pi. So, I use a map range node. And just make the zero to one to. Whenever I'm five. there, I always just multiply by a thousand because I'm like, it doesn't, <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't like, do just, yeah, just like, it will, it will stretch it out enough. So, this is a cool technique. So, if you have, if you just want to change it uh, into negative values, you don't have to like type it, but you just hover over it and just press the negative button. It'll just yeah, do oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. There you go. Yeah, that's like, that saved me so much time in several locations. Let's just um, now 
you might see I have three different, you know, color channels. I don't really like the Z channel for some reason, like, because uh, it doesn't look nice. So I'm not going to include that. So I'll use a math node and take a minimum of both X and Y so that I'll get all the darker values here. The next part is I'll just divide this with the Voronoi. And you tell me what's happening. Sishima. Okay. Um, you're dividing it by distance to edge. So yeah. we know that at the edges, we got a value of zero, which means we're dividing yeah. by near zero. So it's like blowing up. Um, yeah, exactly. Why are you doing uh, that? Now I can like just clamp it, it, you know? Yeah, now I can clamp it and the seams are gone. Okay. I can use a color ramp to just uh, brighten this up. And there you go. You got oh. scratches. Interesting. I see you. Yeah, yeah. That's like so you're um, you're you're basically fading it at the edges so that yeah exactly okay so now you have the squiggly lines as I was saying let's just um, increase the, you can increase the detail and see you can go as drop as well okay cool so if you it's invert if you line. invert that you could use it as a regular mask yeah I could do that as well so let's just plug this through bump and just make something really quick. And hide socket and plug this to normal principal BSD shadow. Interesting. And looks good. Looks a bit like plaster. Yeah. And you can basically like increase the scale or decrease the scale. Now it's becoming more like marble. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking marble. Uh, one cool way of making marbles is again um, just use a noise texture and separate it into HSV, you know? Oh yeah, that's so quite a common technique. Sorry. Well, what what technique are you doing? Right now, I'm not doing anything. I'm just showing like a different way you can generate. When you mentioned practice. separating HSV, I've known yeah, a, a lot of people to to do this to get like extra generated textures. There we go, like that. So you can get like these kind of coffee splotches by taking the H yes. value. Ah. Oh. And then subtracting. I, I just spilled coffee on my desk. Very topical. <laughs> these are stuff which you can't basically think of right off the bat, but Generating this sort of stuff actually makes it more fun making notes. Like, look at this. How would you even think of doing this? Separating no HSV, idea. subtracting 0.5, absoluting so that you'll get values on both sides. And use the same color ramp. And you'll get a different scratch pattern, okay, which is very unique uh, from the same noise texture if you want. So are you um, using these scratches on like metals and stuff? Is that why you're usually making them? Yeah, exactly. Huh. You know, back in the day, you you take a bunch of you take your procedural thing, you bake out these textures. You could sell like a scratch pack of image textures. Yeah, that yeah, could have sure. been a thing. Nowadays, nope. Well, actually, I don't, I don't know why not. Doesn't doesn't a uh, Clint sell like? Like uh, maps of like fingerprints and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah like I think like it depends, right? Because there's a lot of stuff that's very, very difficult to get procedurally. Um, mm -hmm. Fingerprints are quite difficult to do procedural. Not impossible, but very difficult, right? Um, I, I, I wouldn't. Sharon, do you, can you do fingerprints? Do you think? I think I actually did once. You did do. Um, yeah, you did do. One once. I'm not gonna say it was realistic, but it was it was pretty good. It's, it's pretty close, like I yeah. just like distort a wave texture and make these like blobs to mask them. That's like how I do it. Yeah. So it I'll like tell you the print. technique though. For example, let's just say a thumbprint. I'll take a you know semicircle and then I'll take a vertical gradient and I'll make yeah. an SDF that goes something like this. You know? Yeah. And then I'll take a let's say a circular gradient. And ping pong it, if that makes sense. Ping I'll show you what happens. Right as it yeah. goes outwards. Yeah, exactly. So you'll have more circles in the middle and less circles in towards the end. So to and make that SDF, you, do you just combine a circle and a rectangle SDF or something? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, it's sort of the same. And you take like, how do you join them? Like with a smooth minimum or something like that? 
I'll show you something really quick. Uh, We're going in the weeds, the boys. <laughs> Buckle up. Yeah. SDFs is, is where it gets real. This is like my favorite part of making nodes too. So let's just try. Uh, this is like doing out of the box, so it might not be really quick, but I'll try my best to do what I'm doing. I'm taking UV okay. departments. So we are getting a circular that. SDF right now, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I always like to go from minus one to one, so I'll just scale it by two. Pro now tip from your boy one. CG. You could have just done this with a distance to 0.5.5. Just saying. <laughs> oh, yeah, fine. Honestly, you know, you know let, me, let me just do the eyewear check. There we go. Let's just click on CG and get that close up shot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just a backseat noter. Uh, I don't do nodes anymore. I just uh, annoy people and tell them how I would do it. <laughs> like uh, YouTube comments. That's why I read the comments. I love hearing people's way to optimize my things. It's fun. <laughs> but actually, I get good tips out of there. Yeah. Oh, there you go. This is doing exactly the same thing. Look at this. Linear light. Well, what's the linear yeah. light? Uh, this is pretty math? complicated to explain. I think it will basically take the value, subtract by 0.5, and then add it back. I don't know. Okie dokie. But yeah, it sort of like centers it and then adds stuff on top of that, if that makes sense. So it centers it and then scales it. And if I you did it in the other way, wouldn't work. Order of operations matters here. Yeah, matters. Yeah, yeah exactly. And then I use a length to get the SDF. And then I'll separate this. Oh, God. Separate XYZ, because that makes more sense in this case. I'll take a math with that. I hope that, like, in the future, when humans are extinct, this is, like, the last evidence they have of humans existing. <laughs> They're, like, they just really <laughs> like pulling these blocks around, and, like, that's what they do. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, I have a question. This is more of just, like, a pet peeve. But you know when you're, like, dragging nodes over noodles, and it, it, and it moves the other nodes around, right, there to make are. space? Is, yeah. is there a way to stop that from happening? Because it really pees me off. To I stop that like auto moving yeah, thing to stop when you the auto moving. something in, yeah. I have no idea. I I just always like distance them enough so that when I plug one in, it doesn't do it. But yeah. I just hey, dude, I totally missed how you just made that. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. So you took, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You took a you took a circle SDF. I'm with that. I took and this SDF, you... and then yeah. I took this SDF because you know. It's okay, basically... so you did an absolute value on the X. Yeah. Um, so that's like a left a to right mask. SDF. Yeah, I took a mask. Okay. And basically combine them together like this. So the top part is basically okay. a circle SDF, and the bottom part is like the rectangle SDF, or like in a straight line. Right. And is it going to be uh, like continuous in the, uh, like where they, I guess it is. So. It is continuous, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm actually like perfectly block breaking down at the center. With, uh, you know, the center is basically yeah. Um, and luckily, okay. the distances are basically the same because you know, this distance is basically this distance. Right. Yeah, and that's fine. It works the, the, pretty well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you cut it off in a in a place such that a lot of the okay. Wait, 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 hold up. So you you cut it off in a place so that a lot of the distances match up. But mm -hmm. okay, and now you're ping ponging it. I'm just trying. I'm just seeing if it, anything works. I'm just playing around with it, so you can just carry on. Ah, uh, yeah, this is what I just did. Oh, look at that! That's mm -hmm. like a out of thumb. We'll get there. Multiply add, I think. Because I'm so like not math brained. Uh, whenever I'm making materials, I just cycle through like all of the different blend modes until something relatively. Because I know what Same. should, I know what should combine, but I just don't know what exact mode does it the way I want. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, I nice. Mean, so I want something like this, you know. Well, you're kind and of starting I... to get the curvature, aren't you? Like of, of a finger. Yeah. Like exactly, and then I'll basically just start it using a mix RGB node and a noise texture. Oh, we. 
And then you can use that scattering thing from before to like. Yeah, exactly. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Would you burn off your fingerprints just in case no, you no. have like altercations <laughs> with the law? Something like this. Oh wow. Nah. Well, the, the principle's there. It, 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 it's kind of working. Yeah, it'll work. It'll work perfectly now. There's no breakups, I think. But yeah, so this is how I think I would do fingerprints. And, you know, mask off. Yeah, uh, unnecessary factors in the math node. Yeah, so you need to just fade it off a bit. Mm. Yeah, that that is pretty simple. Though. Oh, I think I should go less than. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna look like that. No, no, this is not how I would do it. But then, yeah, I'll well, I feel like. It the last thing you want to let me look at my own thumb. You want to like have a vector rotate thing and like swirl it from the center. Yeah, um, just um, I think. Oh yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. I know thought. Because looking at my thumb, it's like, mm -hmm. like what is it? It's it's kind of like it is kind of like what you did, and then there's a bit of swirly distortion. Yeah. So you'd say a vector rotates stuff. Yeah, do oh, vector yeah. rotate and then the angle based off the length SDF. Length, yeah. Length SDF, yeah. I saw a comment on one of my videos that said, like, yeah, I can follow, but, like, how do you know what node to put next in general? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Practice. Nah. Multiply. So, <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, now it's a fingerprint. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, okay. I mean, it's a cool pattern. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I think I know what I should do. Well. <laughs> Since I'm doing it here, I think I should do it. I wonder if we get loops in geo nodes, if we'd also get loops in shader nodes. That's something I'd That'd consider. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Probably not, but. Okay, this is going to look so weird. Yeah, I'll play around with this. This is a cool technique. I think I should just invert. Yeah, that's much closer to a, a fingerprint. Yeah, because you have this bend, right? Mm. Yeah. And then you you can basically distort it properly, and then prop get wherever you want. I feel and... like maybe I'll do a tutorial at some point, and if somebody wants, they could just be in a Discord call, just ask yeah. questions, because I feel like it's a good good format. I and then you could be like, by the way, uh, this person, here's their YouTube channel. Top of the <laughs> description. Get in there. Yeah. I feel like that's the move. I'd do it. I'd want it yeah. to be chill, though. Yeah, I think so, too. This is pretty fun, honestly. Just like a little experimental yeah. platform, almost. It's just, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. no edits, no stakes. Edits are cringe. I know. That's so cringe. Yes, so. I'm going to go see. Do you guys uh, know Black Phone? It's a movie coming out. No. I'm gonna be hopping in on that. It's uh, what's, what's, what's the name? Ethan Hawke. I'm a big Ethan Hawke fan. Oh, right. Um, okay. I, oh, nice. He, yeah. He only does like experimental movies, I feel. I, I, I love the Moon, Moon Knight, though. The what? Moon Knight. He's in Moon, Moon Knight. Right? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I, I, He's I playing the uh, villain. Uh, the, the, it's a Marvel one. Villain. Disney Plus. Yeah. Oh, that's the like white cape guy. Yeah, kind of oh, like yeah. white suit. Yeah, yeah. kind yeah. of Egyptian. What is this circle? Give us an oval. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to like fade this out. So I think I'll just use a mix node. What's wrong with me? And use the lens again. I'm gonna check if anybody put fingerprints on Blender Market. Oh yeah, there are people. For now, you should just throw this up. I wanna. Oh god, <laughs> infinite. <Ooh. Sorry. laughs> I wanna. Um, I wanna see this through the Voronoi scatter, even if it's not completed. I just wanna see what it looks like. Okay, cool. Let me just uh, copy everything. Control C. Uh. 
control V. All I have to do is just plug this right away, right there. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> Look at that. okay. That's a bit. You need to uh, like yeah. scale them down. <clears throat> yeah, I will. But uh, before this, I think I, all, what I have to do is I could just uh, subtract a little bit value so that uh, you know, okay. I get this. Yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. I'm starting to. I'm looking at that and thinking, um, you know, those those like f ancient fossils and like seabed sediments and stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Kind yeah, it looks like word. I'm looking at microbes. Yeah. The problem with this technique is because uh, I need to find out where exactly the distortion is taking place so that I match these two things together. This is exactly what happened with rain shader as well that I made for you. Yeah. So uh, I need to figure this out, but I think I'll figure it out pretty soon. But yeah. All righty. Guys, man, I want to get lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I could use but, a yeah. BLT. Uh, yeah. Some crispy bacon. Mm -mm -mm. All right, we'll start wrapping it up then. Sharon, what else yes, can sure. we do? Final detail. I think there's a lot we could do, but yeah, I think we'll stop here. Okay. Okay, you want to stop here? All right. Yeah, sure. I'm going to put us all on the screen now. So, yeah, that's just an interesting test recording. Any messages for the world? Yeah, uh, go look at my channel, uh, Mark Rober. And, uh, yeah. Go look at my channel, CG Matter. Go look okay. at my channel, Kurt Studio. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, bye-bye. And also just three things. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>